history demonstrates how dictators have manipulated legal frameworks to legitimize their crimes. The Nazis notably exploited legal mechanisms to facilitate the persecution and genocide of Jews and other targeted groups. By leveraging laws, they created an illusion of legitimacy around their actions, systematically disenfranchising, dehumanizing, and ultimately exterminating millions of people. Abi and his Prosperity Party have been pushing through a series of laws designed to legitimize their agenda of marginalizing Amhara people. One of the most infuriating recent examples is a highly controversial legislation that grants Abi and the Oromo Prosperity Party the power to seize property from citizens who cannot provide documentation, proving the source of their funds. In Ethiopia, where much of the economy operates on cash transactions with minimal record keeping, this requirement is an impossible burden for many. The deliberate vagueness in the law's wording allows for wide interpretation, making it a dangerous political tool. It sets a precedent where the government can wield accusations of financial impropriety arbitrarily, without needing to substantiate their claims with concrete evidence, applies retroactively for 10 years, affecting even deceased individuals. Retroactive laws are deeply problematic as they violate fundamental principles of legality and the rule of law. The rule of law establishes a social contract where society collectively agrees on laws and penalties at a given time. Introducing retroactive laws creates uncertainty and undermines this social contract. It is fundamentally unjust to punish someone for an act that was not illegal at the time it was committed. Critics argue that this law, seen by some as a means for the OPP to execute a significant wealth transfer to Oromos, undermines fundamental principles of fairness and justice. The 1938 Nazi law, known as the Decree on the Confiscation of Jewish Property, was a legal measure enacted during the Third Reich in Germany. It provided a legal framework that made it easier for the Nazi regime to confiscate property from Jewish individuals and families.